Hello all, welcome back to my YouTube channel all about VLSA. In our previous videos, we have seen about, uh, we have started our discussion about repetitive operators where we have seen about consecutive repetition operator. Now in this video, we will discuss about non-consecutive repetition operator. Non-consecutive repetition operator. So let us try to understand this non-consecutive repetition operator in detail and how it is working and how it is different from your consecutive repetition operator. First of all, let us see the syntax of your non-consecutive repetition operator. The syntax for non-consecutive repetition operator is equal to n. Whereas in the case of your consecutive repetition operator, the, the, the syntax was star n. And in the case of non-consecutive repetition operator, we are going to use this syntax equal to n. Okay. And this equal to that means uh, this is non-consecutive repetition operator. Okay. So let us uh, see one requirement is the requirement is at the rate passage of clock dollar rows of a non overlapping implication operator hash one b non consecutive repetition operator hash hash one c. So this is our requirement. So we have three signals. So we have the relation between the three signals A, B and C. Okay. That means if there is any positive transition in A, then after two cycles, B should be high for two cycles and it can be high consecutively or it can be high non-consecutively. And after that and after one cycle, C can be high. Okay. And in this non consecutive in this non consecutive operator, there is no restriction on the number of cycles between the C and the second B. Okay, we will see this with an example. We will, it will be more clear. So let me draw a clock signal first. So these are my positive edges of clock. So this is my clock, and let me draw my signal A. So this is my signal A. This is one, two, three. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So this is my signal A and it is becoming high again at 7th signal. So this is my signal A. Now let me draw my signal B and this is my signal B. Now let me draw my signal C, variable C diagram. So this is my signal C. Now let us try to understand where the uh, where the assertion is getting passed and at which point the assertion is getting failed. Let us try to understand this. So we need to check for this dollar rows of A. So where it is getting, uh, where is where we are getting a positive transition. So at this particular point, we can observe a positive transition. At this particular point, we are at this point the value of A is equal to one, and previously the value of A is equal to zero. So here the assertion is going to get started. Okay, at the second uh, cycle, the assertion is going to get start, and what is the next condition? So after two cycles, we need to check for B. So that is three and four. Yes. So the value of B is one. And in the sixth cycle, again, the value of B is one. So the second condition has been met. As we are discussing about non consecutive repetition operator, as we are discussing about non consecutive repetition operator, there is no compulsion that B should be high continuously for two cycles. It can be on and off. Okay. So it can be high in one cycle and it can be off in another cycle and it can be on in another cycle, but that it should for, it should fulfill the requirement. What is the requirement? It should high for at least two cycles. It may be consecutive or it may be non consecutive here. Uh, the value of B may not be non uh, consecutively high. It is non consecutively uh, maintain. Uh, it is non consecutively fulfilling our requirement. Okay. And Okay, our requirement has been fulfilled here and in the next cycle, what is the requirement in the next cycle? The value of C should be high. So in the next cycle, what is the value of C here? It is one. So that's why the assertion is getting passed. Okay. If the C becomes high itself here, if the C is becoming high itself here, then the assertion is going to get failed. Okay. Obviously. Now, where is another assertion is going to get start here. Okay. So here the one more assertion is going to get start checking is going to be started next in after two cycles, the value of B is one and it is two and three. So the value of B is uh, high for three cycles, 
but what is our requirement the value of b should be high for only two cycles so that's why here the assertion is going to get failed we are not going to check for the value of c here simply the assertion is, the assertion is going to get failed now and one more requirement is our c should be high after one cycle this is our requirement this is our requirement but what if instead of c becoming high in this cycle what if if it is becoming high here okay let me erase this and let me show you again what if if the c is becoming high after two cycles that is b is becoming high here and c after two cycles it is becoming high okay so after two cycles in this eighth cycle it is becoming high so in this case assertion is not going to get failed it is going to get pass only why because there is no restriction on the number of cycles between the second value of b or the last value of b and the c okay i will write down here in this non consecutive repetition operator there is no restriction on number of cycles between last b and c so that is why the assertion is not going to get failed it is going to get pass only so this is about your non consecutive repetition operator now we can also have ranges here like we have seen in your consecutive repetition operator right so here also we can have our uh, ranges minimum value and maximum value we can mention so how we can use is minimum to maximum so this is non consecutive repetition operator minimum and maximum value let us see an example for this and let us try to understand so at uh, passage of clock dollar rose of a Hash one B two down to four or two colon four you can say hash hash one C. So this is the minimum value and this is the maximum value. That means the value of B can be repeated consecutively or non-consecutively for two cycles. Two it can be repeated for four cycles. It may be non-consecutive or it may be consecutive. Okay. Let me draw a waveform for better understanding. Now here, what is our requirement? Where is the assertion? Is it is going to get start? The value of a is one here, and it is zero. So here, the value of assertion, the assertion checking is going to start here at this particular point. Now, so after two cycles, one, two. At this cycle, the value of b is one, and the value of b is the value of b is one again. So two times it is becoming one. For two cycles, it is becoming one, and in non-consecutive in nature. and uh, after next cycle the value of c is 1 so here the assertion is going to get pass okay which has been started here now and the second checking has been started here at the eighth cycle then after two cycles 1 2 we are going to check for the value of b b is 1 here and again it is 1 and again it is 1 so b is high for three cycles so what is our minimum range 2 and what is our maximum range it can be up to four cycles so here it is three cycles okay no issue then in the next cycle the value of c is not high but the assertion is not going to get failed in the next cycle the value of c is 1 okay so here the assertion is going to get pass so the last value of c there is no restriction we have seen right so that's why 
here the assertion is going to get pass so this is how your non consecutive repetition operator is going to work yes so that's all about this video so if you like this video please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel all about vrc thank you for watching this video